In this video, I'm going to show you the trip computer and how you could customize it. To access the trip computer in the eTrex 10, we're going to hit the menu button twice to go to our main menu. From the main menu, we're going to select trip computer. If trip computer is not showing up in the main menu, it could be part of your page sequence and then you just need to hit the back button until you see it. I don't have a page sequence set up, so it's right here in the menu. So I'll select it. And here's my trip computer screen. You know, there's a lot of useful information on here. It's telling me that sunset is in 10 hours and 17 minutes at the top here. It's got my elevation, a trip odometer, speed, max speed, moving time, moving average, stop time, and overall average. And I could change these data fields to something I prefer. So hit the menu button once. And then we could scroll down and select change data fields. Select it. Then select the data field you want to change. Let's say max speed because I don't need to know my max speed. And then we have a whole list we could go through to change it. So I'm just going to cycle through some of these so you can see the options available to you. Okay, so we just went through the list. Let's change it to time of day. So now we have the time of day listed right there. We could even do other things such as make this big numbers and so on. So let's get out of here. We'll hit back and we'll hit menu once again. Now let's try what big numbers look like. So now it reduced the number of data fields that we have on the screen. And again, we could change these by hitting menu once and then selecting change data fields. Another option in the trip computer is change dashboard. If we go into change dashboard, we have a few options. Right now it's set to recreational, but we could do automotive, stopwatch, small data fields, large data fields, compass, and geocaching. Geocaching is very popular, so let's look at that dashboard. So we have a compass in the top here, and we're going to have a distance to the geocache we're looking for. And then, of course, our regular fields down here, and we can make those small numbers so we get some more information. And there's lots of different dashboards to choose from, so try each one and see which one you like the best. We can reset this, so once we're done with our trip and we no longer need the statistics on the screen here, let's hit reset and we have a few options here we could reset. We could reset the trip data, we could delete all waypoints, clear current track or reset all settings. So trip data is what we're looking at, so I'll go yes. Now when we go back, a bunch of our information has been cleared. And then the last option in the submenu when you hit menu once is restore defaults. When you select restore defaults, it goes back to what Garmin has set it in the factory. So that was a quick introduction to the trip computer of your Garmin eTrex 10.